I'm Allie, you're in Giggleville, let's react to some Reddit posts. This first one is from Emma the A-hole. Am I the A-hole for telling my brother he is not child-free? My brother, Brandon, is 16 and decided he is child-free, which basically just means he doesn't want to be around our four-year-old little cousin. That's actually not what being child-free means. <laughs> being child-free just means that you don't want to have kids of your own. We're off to an interesting start. Let's keep going. We have dinner at our grandparents every other weekend together with all our aunts, uncles, and cousins. Brandon never liked our little cousin, and recently he decided that that means he doesn't have to talk to her or acknowledge her existence at all. Brandon will 100% ignore her, and if she keeps trying to talk to him, he will stand up and go to another room. The parents don't really care about it. They're usually busy with talking to each other and don't pay attention to us. Okay, so like, is this a big deal then? So if the parents don't see their child being mistreated, with what we have so far, it doesn't seem like a problem is happening. Last weekend, Brandon was ignoring our little cousin once again. She was showing him her drawings. When he stood up and went away, she started crying and I went after Brandon to call him out on it. He said he was child-free and he doesn't have to engage with children if he doesn't want to. He is not rude or mean to her, so he is not doing anything wrong. I told him he can't be child-free when he is a child himself and he is being mean to her cousin. If he doesn't have kids and he doesn't want kids, he is child-free. It doesn't really matter how old you are. It doesn't seem like he's being more rude than an average teenager would. I'm sure that that how old, how old, four years old, I'm sure that this four-year-old isn't crafting amazing impressionist paintings. He doesn't want to pretend that he's impressed. It takes a lot out of people to do that. And the biggest clue to me right now is that the parents are not seeing a problem happening. If they're busy talking to each other, they're also not talking to their four-year-old. How does that make it OP's brother's problem? Curious to know why she's crying. <laughs> Curious to know why the four-year-old is crying. Like, just because a four-year-old is crying, it doesn't mean that someone was mean to the four-year-old. Four-year-olds don't have a ton of experience with rejection. Even if he was super respectful about excusing himself, I don't know. He then acted like I committed the most atrocious crime for not believing he knows he will never want children and has been sending me links about people knowing really young that they don't want children. But that's not what I meant at all. I was calling him out on being mean to a four-year-old little girl just because, and I don't care if he will ever have children or not. Am I the a-hole? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't sound like he's being actively mean to a child. It sounds like he's just not engaging with her. Neither are her parents. If you're walking down the street and a random baby smiles at you and waves or whatever, it's super easy to smile and wave back at them. But if that's three hours of them standing around you demanding your attention, it's harder to keep up with that. If the brother was being mean, I think the cousin's parents would have said something or stepped in and with her crying like where are her parents in that situation op is not this kid's parent if this kid is crying and her parents are still caught up in what they're saying they're not paying attention to her does she just do this all the time at home like is she, does she just always cry after she shows people something she drew like the other thing that is frustrating is like opie's brother is a teenager teenagers they're they're like trying to individuate and figure out who they are they'll ignore children they'll ignore their parents they'll ignore they'll ignore everyone they'll ignore everyone because they're trying to figure out who they are yeah like op is being an a-hole the 16 year old brother could probably be communicating better at the same time he is a 16 year old does he have the skills to do that yet not really like this is the time in his his life where he's learning how to communicate better and yelling at him that he's a bad person is not helping him find the language to better articulate what his needs are what his expectations are and and help him figure out who he is this post was voted not the a-hole strong disagree the question is is op an a-hole for cornering a teenager who's being a teenager and yelling at them over how the teenager is trying to figure out who they are as a person where where where's this four-year-old's parents <laughs> where are they oh they're busy talking to each other how is that this how is that your brother's problem <laughs> how is that your brother's problem why was she actually crying opie never spoke to her why are you yelling at him instead of like 
talking to her, if you care a lot about spending time with the four-year-old, talk to the four-year-old. Ask, hey, what happened? Why are you crying? Oh, you wanted someone to look at your picture? I'll look at your picture. Don't yell at him. That's not his job. He's being 16. All right, another am I the a-hole. Am I the a-hole for refusing to give up my Neopets account to my niece? Throwaway account. Okay, so I'm upset and confused. And I told sister and brother-in-law I would post here to settle this argument so they will be seeing and reading this. For those who don't know, Neopets is a virtual game site that was really popular around the late 90s, early 2000s. It kind of died a bit for a while, but has recently started to get popular again. I have been playing for years. My account is 18 years old, and it has the stats to reflect that. Pets, avatars, stamps, gallery, trophies, etc. If you don't play, it may not mean a lot, and not to brag, but I have a rather impressive account due to the fact that I have been playing so long. I, 34 female, have no kids, not child-free, just don't have any. My sister, 32 female, and brother-in-law, 34 male, have a daughter, 11 female, who has been very sickly all her life. I'll not go into exactly what is wrong with her, but she's been in and out of hospitals a lot in her young life, and recently had to go back in for a few weeks. I recently learned that she's been playing on Neopets.com for a few months to help pass the time when she's not feeling well. She's really gotten into it and from what my sister says, talks about it a lot. She was excited to learn I also play and we talked about it when I visited her. I looked up her account and gifted her a bunch of stuff. Expensive stuff that would be hard for a newer account to get. In-game stuff using in-game money which can be kind of hard to earn in large amounts. Anyway. Long story short, she asked how I can afford the stuff I sent her. It was worth millions of Neopets? NP? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I think it means Neopets. And how I have all the stuff my account has. I explained I had been playing for 18 years, did every plot, event, etc. Well, apparently she got upset at the huge difference between our two accounts and asked for more stuff. When I told her no, she started crying to my sister and brother-in-law about it. My brother-in-law came over and asked if I could gift my account to my niece for her upcoming birthday, which she has to spend in the hospital. Said it would mean the world to her. I said no. I've had this account since before she was born, before we even met my brother-in-law. I don't want to get rid of it. I still play it literally every day. Well, he got mad and tried guilt-tripping me. I'm an adult and she's a child and it would make her happy in a rough time in her life. I'm happy to help her learn the tricks and traits of the game, but I'm not giving away my account. He tried to buy it off me, but I still said no. Now he's super pissed and got my sister and parents on their side. I'm being hounded every day for this and being called an a-hole because it's all my niece will talk about and she really, really wants it. I feel bad because she's just a little girl in the hospital and guilty for not giving it. I offered to send a bunch of stuff to her account again, but she wants my stats, so she's not treated like such a newbie who doesn't know anything by other players, too. I feel guilty, but I want to keep my account. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. It's yours. My stance on this, my hard hot take, my hard stance, hot, hot, hot stance? Hard stance, hot take. It's good to teach kids that they can't get everything that they want just because they want it. That helps prepare them for life. If she wants the stats, she has to work for them the same that you did. You're not just going to give her status because she doesn't want to be spoken to like a newbie, even though she is a newbie. And you've already given her such a head start with gifting her all of the cool stuff that you gave her. So you've already done more than enough by gifting her all the things that you gifted her. The rest of the journey is for her to like show up to her Neopets. <laughs> I think the emotions are high in this situation because OP's niece is in the hospital, not because people really want OP's niece to have these stats, you know. Giving your Neopets account to her doesn't take any of that other stuff away. You gifted her a bunch of stuff and the response to that wasn't, oh my gosh, thank you, that's so amazing, wow. It was, this is not enough stuff, like you should have given me more stuff, you should have given me your whole account. Like even if you gift her your account, is that gonna be enough to make her actually happy? I don't know, man. It's not the best sign. It's so hard on whole entire families when a kid is in the hospital, especially during their birthday. I don't think that handing your account over fixes that, so not the a-hole. And this was also voted not the a-hole, so there we go. Everybody is in agreement. 
Next post, am I the a-hole for banning my sister-in-law from my house over tomato sauce? I, 28 female, have an older brother, 28 male. He's married to sister-in-law, 33 female. I get along with her well, except for this one point. If you don't keep an eye on her, she will get into the kitchen and add seasonings to whatever is cooking. She thinks she's fixing stuff, but not all foods need turmeric in it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this Saturday, I received 40 pounds of tomatoes. It took me the whole weekend to turn it into a sauce that I was planning to can. I can it plain, then add whatever seasonings and herbs it needs depending on the recipe. I want a hobby like that where it's like, oh yeah, I like put I put it I put it in a shed and then I smoke it and then I and then I drain it and then I jar it, can it, press it, and then I take it to the farmer's market. I feel like that'd be so fun. I'd wear overalls. I'd have like a little piece of hay that I'd chew on. They came to get a bag of spare clothes for one of their kids, and in the five minutes it took me to get it, she managed to get into the kitchen, add salt, pepper, turmeric, olive oil, garlic powder, and Italian herbs to all five of the pots that were simmering on the stove. That is insulting. 40 pounds of tomatoes, five pots. If we do the math, it equals an overstep. And when I asked her what she was doing, she had the audacity to say, this sauce needed some taste. I added it for you. Like I've never told her not to touch what I was cooking before. That's the worst when you set a boundary and you communicate it so clearly and then another person just sort of tramples all over it and is like, well, your boundary was overrated because it wasn't aligned with what I felt like doing. That's why the boundary was there is because what you want is different. I was so angry that I knew I couldn't be calm talking with her. So I simply walked to my brother, told him to take the clothes and his wife, and that she is no longer welcome in my house. She had followed me, was shocked, started apologizing, but I just ignored her. I added that he should come by tomorrow to take the sauce his wife ruined, because otherwise it would be thrown away, and that I expected 40 pounds of replacement tomatoes. They left. He came back with the tomatoes, an apology letter from her, and an, an apology carrot cake, my fave. But I told him that I stand by my decision. Now my parents got involved. Since I'm the one that usually hosts, and since she is not allowed in my house, I told them to make alternate plans for Memorial Day. My husband says that I am in the right, but my parents say that my reaction is way overblown. So, am I the a-hole? Edit. There seems to be some confusion. I'm not planning to host for Memorial Day, but not invite her. I said I am not hosting. My parents or my brother should host, and I will attend as a guest. I might be angry, but I don't want her excluded. Ophi is being reasonable. Oh my gosh. The, just the effort that it takes to bring 40 pounds of tomatoes into one's home, the effort that it takes to like get the produce simmering in five pots, and the cleanup disposing of the ruined sauce, that alone was probably hours of labor that sister-in-law destroyed. And even if sister-in-law is sorry now, to welcome someone into your home takes so much trust in the first place. It's your safe space. It's, you know, it's where you bring, it's where you bring your tomatoes. It's where you keep your pots. <laughs> it's, it's very special. It's just going to take time, I think, for that trust to be built back up. Um, and Opie doesn't want to exclude her sister-in-law. She's not trying to punish her sister-in-law. It seems like Opie is really just trying to protect her space. So not the a-hole. And if we look, post, it was voted, not the a-hole. So everyone's in agreement here for the most part. OP, protect your sauce. Protect your sauce. Keep your sister out of your home for as long as needed for her to, to heal from her food tampering ways. OP is also pretty active in the comments. I'll read out one of them. Sister-in-law thinks we don't season enough. But here's the thing. If I'm making Indian or Chinese, I toast the spices and grind them with a mortar and pestle. My Ethiopian friend says I make spicier food than her mom. But if I'm making mac and cheese, a burger or mashed potatoes, of course I'm only using salt and pepper, because usually the flavors are in the sauce or gravy. Reasonable. Being reasonable. We continue to see reasonable comments from OP. I stand by my original ruling. <laughs> Not the a-hole. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.